Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Ron. In this video, we're going to discuss the migration process to Australia as an aeronautical engineer or as an aircraft maintenance engineer, sometimes referred to as an aircraft technician or an aircraft mechanic. So if you're interested in that topic, stick around and I'll teach you how. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and click that notification bell as well so you won't miss any future videos that is related to this topic. Please share this video to your friends, families, and colleagues so we can help a lot of people understand the process of migrating to Australia so they can make an informed decision if they wish to migrate to Australia. The topic that I'm going to discuss in this video are as follows history of how I migrate to Australia, the visa process, and the cost. To provide a little background of my initial employment history in Australia, when I came to Australia, my employer sponsored my visa, wherein they did all the visa processes, including the associated costs for my travel, medical, and migration to Australia. After several months of employment with the company, I realized that the business-sponsored visa has many disadvantages. So, with that information, I've requested the company to sponsor our permanent visa application so that we can stay in Australia indefinitely and access all the benefits of being a permanent resident. Initially, that request was rejected. However, after several negotiations with my manager, the company agreed to sponsor our visa for residency. And we signed a contract of agreement that includes a minimum service period with company. While in the process and after submitting all the required documents, we were advised that the company have decided to unfortunately cease operation. We were made redundant. Since the company sponsor our business visa and when they choose to discontinue the operations, our visa will be cancelled as well. And we were advised to either find a new employer or leave Australia within three months from the last date of our employment. That was a very depressing and stressful time for me as I didn't want to leave Australia anymore as I call Australia as my home already. However, I did not lose hope. I tried to apply for another position and seek employment opportunities with other companies. However, I was unsuccessful. As most Australian employers want to employ locals or job seeker that has permanent resident visa as they don't want to shoulder the business visa cost and other associated costs that comes with it. So what I did is, I applied for a skilled immigrant pathway, which is the topic of this video. Before applying on my own, I also tried to seek help from a migration agent. And this was only six months of employment with my company. I wanted to get the permanent resident visa as soon as I can as the business visa also comes with lots of disadvantages. So when I seek advice from the migration agent, here's the outcome of his assessment. Dear Ronald, after close assessment of the information that you have sent, I regret to inform you that we will not be able to assist you any further because with your interest as A. Your nominated the occupation, i.e. aeronautical engineer, an aircraft maintenance engineer, mechanical, is not the nature of your current work you are doing in Australia under a subclass 457 visa. And B, as you studied in Section 3, University in the Philippines, your qualification will not be assessed as comparable to Australian bachelor's degree by Engineers Australia. 
Letter C, if you pursue aircraft maintenance engineer mechanical, then you will be assessed by TRA and will require an RTO to assess you and the outcome of the assessment will likely be unfavorable as well. Thank you and remain yours faithfully. So the migration agent mentioned that if I applied for a skilled immigrant visa, the outcome would be unsuccessful. With that information, as I was not satisfied with his advice and rationale, I was determined, wanted to test it myself and took the risk. I studied all the visa options, the process steps, the education and recognition process for my nominated occupation, which is the aircraft maintenance engineer and aeronautical engineer, which I managed to get positive results also. Here is the result of item A for my experience in Australia were recognized and item B for my engineering degree and finally item C for the aircraft maintenance engineering mechanical. I took the IELTS exam and passed it and prepared all the documents. However, I was pushing the company for the sponsorship as I don't want to pay for the visa cost and after I got all my documents ready, they finally agreed. However, later on, as mentioned earlier, they announced that they are closing the Australian branch since the company closed before the permanent business visa was approved and we only have few months left before we need to leave Australia. I wanted to stay, so I applied on my own and when I applied for the visa, I have all my requirements already like the IELTS test, the skills recognition for my AME qualification. The AME skills recognition assessment only took me about one week after submitting all the documents. And for the aeronautical engineering profession, the aeronautical engineering qualification, it only took me about three days to wait after submitting all the required papers. So it only took me about, I think, three months to get the visa approved. And when I got the visa approved, I was still working for my employer. And whilst waiting for our last day of employment date, I applied for other jobs in the industry. Where I stated I am already permanent resident visa holder. Did you know what happened? All the employer that I applied for called me for an interview. Note that few months back when I applied for the job with the same employers, I didn't even get any response. Not a single one called me for an interview. But when I mentioned that I have a permanent visa already, all of them called me for an interview. There was Qantas, Virgin, small operators, and MRO. Some positions are in Firth, Adelaide, Northern Territory, Canberra, Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane. So basically, I only need to pass the interview and choose which location position and salary I would accept. So you see, getting a job in Australia is easy if you have the skill set and the experience and it only needs a permanent resident visa. Australia needs people that can contribute to the economy. There are skill shortages in Australia and this is the reason why Australia is opening its door to skilled migrants. Australia have lots of opportunities in aviation as most of the big names or organization have a footprint in Australia. There's also a lot of opportunities in other industries like mining, rail, warehouse, healthcare, logistics, and supply, and etc. To name a few. We will discuss those other industries and skills in the next video. So that's the history and how I migrated to Australia and how I applied for the permanent resident visa. So, Let's now look at the process on how to apply for a permanent resident visa.